Responding to the layoff and cuts that we've received at Capital Care from uh, oh, that the employer announced that to Elder Health Services has cut three million dollars from the budget. So, in with that, they have then gone to the frontline staff and made cuts there. Well, it, certainly their funding model did change, or it was announced to be changed a few months ago. We didn't know what the impacts would be, but at the same time, because of the economic situation the government finds itself in, uh, it's uh, basically saying the sky is falling and they're going to cut, 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 uh, even though the budget uh, hasn't come out yet and even though there's a an economic summit this uh, this coming weekend to discuss these things cuts are still happening when it comes to Alberta health services not, not only you know is the population growing older obviously but the the influx of people into the province uh, increasing all the time uh, Alberta is experiencing a huge migration of people from all over the world and all over parts of Canada so the demand on services is going to increase and uh, already you know there's short staffing on in, in many facilities so this just makes it worse and, and I think it's just so short-sighted of the government to, to uh, take this action now. We went through this in the Klein era. Those cuts hurt us and the people of the province and we're still recovering from those and yet this government hasn't learned those lessons. That the, the, You've got to hold on to what you've got and uh, build for the future. We say cut back! We say cut back! We say cut back! We say cut back. We say cut back.